Welcome to beautiful Orland Park in Illinois. This is the U.S. Log Rolling Open brought to you by Crick. Welcome everybody, I'm John Hughes alongside Jacob Rick. And Jacob, we have a fantastic competition coming up with this log rolling. First time in Illinois, it's a great location for this event. Yeah, we're so excited to be here. Again, it's the first tournament of this 2016 season, so it should be fun. So Jake, let's take a look at the bracket. The women's division first in the first semifinal will be Ellie Davenport and Maggie Penning. Who's your pick out of that one? You know, I still like Ellie Davenport. She's looking real strong. She beat a, a multiple-time world champion in Jenny Atkinson, and uh, I think she can get this one. And in the bottom of that bracket, Meredith Ingebrigtsen up against Shauna Verstigan. The real key is whether Shauna's totally back into shape, into her prime here. And I'm going to actually take Meredith. She's the defending world champ. I think she's got a good shot in this one. And over to the men's bracket. In the top, we have young Garrick Birdsong, the number one seed at this event. He goes up against Brian Stearns. I, I look for Garrick to do well in this one. Uh, he looked really strong in his first match. And this will be Brian's first first roll of the day, actually. So it's kind of hard to come in against the number one seed like that. So I think I look for Garrick to take that match. And the bottom of that bracket, we have Darren Hudson from Canada up against another youngster, Spencer Wilkinson. Yeah, and Darren Darren looked he actually gave up a fall in that first that first match, but he's looking strong. He's a seven-time world champ. I just don't know that Spencer has it in him. I look for Darren to take that semi. Well, we'll be back with fantastic action here in Orland Park very shortly. We are steel, German engineered chainsaws and landscape products. The majority of which are made here in America by Americans. And exported to over 90 countries around the world. Find out why steel is number one in America at SteelUSA.com. Kids and water, but what do they do after they've learned to swim? How do we keep them interested in swim lessons if their enthusiasm is waning? Are the adults in your facility looking for something completely different and challenging? Think about adding log rolling to your program. Close friendships develop as rollers are engaged in fun and fitness. Log rolling is an extremely safe activity for your pool, camp, or aquatic facility. Welcome back to the action, ladies and gentlemen. We're into the first semi-final. We have Ali Davenport up against Maggie Penning. We do have a running match for this match. You can see they're both facing the same direction. Uh, Maggie looks over her right shoulder, and Ali looks over her left shoulder. Now, Ali's a young lady that came into the sport many years ago, as all of these girls did. And she's become one of the finest. She's, in fact, the number one seed here this weekend, Jake. And uh, this young lady, she just about did it all last year, except for one, the world title. That's right. She lost in the finals of the world championships last year. And I think she's on a mission this year, John. She's She's got something to prove. She showed she can roll with the best of them last year. She just had that one step missing. And this is, this is kind of the kickoff to her season right here, John. Ellie in the pink hat and Maggie. Well, there's Ellie's blue shoes. Yeah, you got a great shot. They got those sharpened sharpened metal spikes that really help dig into the log. It's just that bare wood. These are the professionals. They just got those cleats on, and they can grip the log. And that's how they move it around, trying to get their opponent off. This is western red cedar that we're using. Very buoyant. And you see the red line in the middle of the log there. They cannot step on or across that Hi. line. Of course, they may not touch their opponent. We heard the whistle there, Jake. What's happened? Yeah, there's a, for this first log for the women, there's only a one minute time limit. And as the logs, the next log will have a three minute time limit. And as the logs keep getting smaller and smaller, they're gonna get quicker and there's gonna be more action. So that first log was 14 inches in diameter. This next one will only be 13 inches in diameter. And it'll, you'll see results immediately. They'll have to be that much quicker. They're gonna have to keep their feet right on top. Because if you get on the edge of these logs as they get smaller, you get into trouble quickly. Ali Davenport coming from the Woodbury, Minnesota Logging School program, and Maggie Penning naming Namakogan River Rollers as her home for the practice. Obviously, a lot of rollers in these areas, and these girls roll against other women and also men to help them develop their strength. 
course, you'll notice these gals focusing on each other's feet once they're on the log. They get 30 seconds up on dock to dry off. They may want to towel off and get a splash of cold water. And these gals are getting out on that little stick of dynamite, Jake. 12 inches in diameter, 12 feet long. Even though these gals are slight, that log is going to be very quick, and it's uh, not quite as buoyant as the last logs. Yeah, I got a feeling we're going to see some action pretty quick here. Granted, these girls are pretty small, but they're excellent rollers. But this log is only 12 inches in diameter. Keep in mind, that's only a ruler width wide that you got to stand on. And of course, there's a lot less than that because the rest of the log is in the water and you can see each step nearly touching the water with their feet. Not only are they concentrated on each other's feet, looking for that split second that your feet might be stationary, but the water they have to tend with. Now, this is a running match. Both ladies facing the same direction, looking over opposite shoulders. And generally, we see a lot of patience. But as we mentioned, we've already had the first two logs that were bigger. Nothing happened. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. We're going to see a lot more action right soon. Yeah, and the thing to keep in mind, too, is these ladies have already been rolling for four minutes. So they're very tired. Obviously, they're not trying to show it. But they got to be ready. And your legs get really tired working hard. They got a foot on each side of the log. They got their front foot kind of, their toes wrap over the front. Their he back heel wraps over the back side of the log. That's really how they control the log. But that, that, that time on the log will really set in here on this number four log. In the running matches, endurance is a premium. So all of these contest contestants will do many, many hours of practice. It is early in the season, but we're very happy for the first time to have a competition in Illinois at this beautiful location at Centennial Park. The red line in the middle of the log, they may not step on or across, and you can see these gals both in very good control. They can't touch their opponents either, but Jake, after that, anything goes, and sometimes they'll try to kick a bucket of water. It's, uh, it's a risky move, but I don't think we're going to see it in this match. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, the first fall goes to Ali Davenport. Now these gals are swimming back. All right, so let's see what happens. You see Maggie's front foot kind of get on the backside, and then to try to fix that, I think she sent her shoulders way up. They got on the backside then, she dropped her heel, and then next thing she knew, she was in the water. So now, Jake, each competitor has had their 30 seconds break. You can talk to a, a friend or a coach. They can get a drink of water, they can towel off. They take that time to get their wind back and back onto the log on that gold log, very quick, 12 inch diameter. We've already had one fall to that young lady right there. Ellie Davenport in the pink hat. She won everything last year except the world title. She's looking for that this year, as you said. Will we see a little more action now that there's been one fall? You know, that's a good question. Ellie's, Ellie's got to remember, like, she's got one fall up, so she might have a, she might feel like she can push the limits a little bit, having that little bit of cushion. Uh, Maggie's really got to make sure she settles in. She can't really force the issue. If you go down two falls, it's, it's really tough to come back three straight. Um, so you might kind of see her hang out on top a little more. Ellie might try to watch her front foot. Maybe she'll try to push down on the log. We call it kicking the log. That's really the best, easiest way to get your opponent off. Watch their hands. Uh, right now they look really steady. The easiest way to see if, if they're out of control is watching their hands, their arms. You, if you start seeing them go up above their head or doing circles, that's they got to fix that right away. They got to get those arms right back down, their shoulders low again, and right back in position. We've made comments several times of how slight these ladies are, but you also mentioned with those sharp spikes on this cedar log, they're really fighting for control out there. Oh. Looks like Ellie wins another fall there. That's two straight for Ellie Davenport. This young 18-year-old is going to be a force to be reckoned with this year. Let's watch Maggie's feet here. I think her left toe kind of gets a little bit forward on the log, and then she's just in. You know, the thing is, is when you're that tired, you don't realize where your feet are. You don't think you're in trouble, and then all of a sudden she realizes, oh, it's too late to fix it, and she's in the water. A great fall for Ellie. She's going to look for the third one very quickly, but you can see the girls toweling off. 
just trying to of course maggie is the one working the hardest now to regain some some confidence just settle herself down she knows she has the ability she's a fourth seed in this tournament she's been rolling for many many years and right now she's staring out at the water saying okay what have i got to do i've got to turn this around and it's got to happen right now or ellie's going to take me three straight you saw Ellie kind of jumping around on the dock. Sometimes you got to do that. Your legs almost, they're doing that same kind of motion over and over again. You got to kind of wake them back up. And I, I kind of think that's what contributed to Maggie's fall is you're, you think you're okay, but your legs are so tired that all of a sudden you realize you're too far gone at that point. Now judges pull them out, then you'll hear the whistle. There it goes. Now this is a no time limit log. Of course, it's the smallest log. 12 inch diameter, 12 feet long, and two very talented women on this log. Right into the action, a lot more speed right now. Oh, great recovery. Oh, Ellie stepped right back up on the log and put Maggie in. That is three straight for Ellie Davenport. It looked like Ellie tried to give a little front kick down to try to get Maggie and then she dropped her shoulders way down but she was able to recover and sometimes when they recover like that it's the hardest part because you're trying to put them in the water you see Ellie she's gonna give a little bit of a kick here Ellie's on the lift yeah she's in the red hat she there it is that she gives that little bit of a kick she's hanging in there and then she's almost down Maggie thinks she's got her and then she comes right back over the top of the log and Maggie's in on her backside there We'll be back with the next women's semifinal right after this. What average work pants move like? <laughs> what Duluth Flex Fire Hose work pants move like? Duluth Flex Fire Hose Work Pants. Stick it to stiff. Only at DuluthTrading.com. Kids and water, but what do they do after they've learned to swim? How do we keep them interested in swim lessons if their enthusiasm is waning? Are the adults in your facility looking for something completely different and challenging? Think about adding log rolling to your program. Close friendships develop as rollers are engaged in fun and fitness. Log rolling is an extremely safe activity for your pool, camp, or aquatic facility. Welcome back to the action at Lake Sedgwick. We see these two very talented ladies coming out now. We have Meredith Engerbritsen and Shauna Burstigan, two of the strongest competitors in the sport today. Meredith seated third and of all things Shauna Verstigan on the left she had a child last year so she's been out of the competition for a little bit so she wasn't seated coming to this event but Jake she's done very well knocking off Maggie Bulk and then Emily Christofferson to get to this match against Meredith. Yeah, she's looked really strong so far. I know last year she didn't quite finish up to her, her standards during the year, which is totally understandable considering she had her first child. But I think she wants to get back. She's been rolling hard. Uh, this should be a really good match. You almost got the whole youth versus experience thing here. Meredith on the right in the hat is actually our defending world champ. So she was looking out to come back strong this year. And Shauna is a four-time world champ herself. So she's no slouch by any means. And different than our last match, this is actually a bucking match. You can see that they're facing opposite ways now. They're both looking over their left shoulder. The whistle blows for the one minute time limit there. And the ladies will get that log back into the dock and get up. Here's Shauna dips her foot right down in the water, puts it right in Meredith's face. Hopefully she gets a little bit in her eyes to try and distract her. Shauna's very good at that. We'll see if she does it on the smaller logs, though. It's a very aggressive move. Once the one-minute time limit up, we'll drop to a smaller log. As the diameter decreases, the log turn gets quicker. Episode of the last log was 14 inches in diameter. This one is now 13 inches in diameter, and we'll be on this log for three minutes, or unless the match finishes before that. Start. 
in this match we have Shauna Verstigen on the left and Meredith Ingebrigtsen on the right and we're on to the slightly smaller log here the 13 inch diameter 12 inches long oh Meredith fainting like she was gonna kick and she got crossed up Jake that didn't work out too well no she missed it on the first time and I think she sh probably should have just left it alone at that but then she had to prove a point and it kind of came back to haunt her <laughs> Shauna Verstigan with a big smile there perhaps uh, a little laugh at what happened Here's Meredith. You're going to see her. Oh, she misses. She's got to dip down just a little bit farther. She actually gets it that time, but I think she put so much effort into it. And by that time, Sean already knows it's coming. She's not going to surprise her at all at that point. Here it is again. You, you see, she's got to, you, especially on that backsplash, you got to dip your knee just a little bit, especially for these girls. That, that water's a little ways down from the log. But once you miss the first one, you kind of lose the element of surprise. <laughs> They've had their 30 seconds and now back on to the same log, 13 inch diameter. Now you could see in that replay that Meredith crossed her legs and for Shauna, that's just a dead giveaway. I've got her on one foot, she's going down. And she took advantage of that and got the first fall. Shauna Verstigan, 36 years old, had her first child last year and she is the epitome of health, this, this young lady. She's done so much for our sport, but so much for women in general with her constant hard work. She's been in magazines teaching people about health and fitness, looking after herself very much coming back to the sport again and sh it won't be long till she's back on top no not at all you okay. can see she kind of gave a quick kick of her right foot down on the log there trying to create more action uh, with Shauna she's up one all um, she can maybe push the push the boundaries a little bit be a little bit aggressive but like I said Meredith's our defending world champion in the sport so she's not gonna go away easy but she might be a little less aggressive than that first splash showed us <laughs> Of course, each athlete focusing on their opponent's feet, because as I mentioned, once your feet are still, that's the, the green light to your opponent to give a pull on the log or a kick and try to put your opponent in. You can see as this log whirls quick, they get the water splashing up. Obviously, we call that white water. A great back action there. Oh! Looks like Shauna took that second fall. You can see in a bucking match, it's really important to keep your heel on the back side of the log. Otherwise, otherwise they're gonna take it right up out from underneath you. You see Meredith's left heel, she's kind of down in the water, down the water. But then as soon as Shauna starts pulling on it, she can't get her heel back over the top. And that's what she's gotta do to get back on top of the log. Shauna has a two fall advantage right now. She's probably comfortable staying on that log. And of course, Meredith is going to be fighting hard. She has got to make something happen right now. Saw Meredith just talking to her coach, Brian Duffy, who's a five-time world champion himself. Both these are all rollers come from very good schools of log rolling. Uh, Meredith from Hayward, Wisconsin. There's been tons of world champions out of that school. Shauna kind of started the program down in Madison, or she helped run it for a long time, I should say. And uh, she's, she's got a lot of good rollers that she's trained as well. Now, of course, being a bucking match, as we mentioned, a lot of fighting going on, so the endurance of these ladies is very much in play as well. Sean have been very aggressive there. You can see them drifting in and out from that center line. They cannot step on or across it, and you cannot touch your opponent, but after that, anything goes, as we've seen with Meredith's attempt at kicking water earlier. Yeah, Shauna's really stepped it up so far on this fall. Uh, she, I got a feeling she'd rather finish it on this log than go down to that number four log because that number four log is so much quicker that you got to be so much faster. If Shauna can end it here, she's going to try. Two falls to zero to Shauna. On the left, Meredith Ingebrigtsen on the right, the current world champion. She's digging deep now, fighting back. She needs to get this fall. 
And as you mentioned, she wants to get it to that 12 inch log. And there's the whistle. We're moving on to the stick of dynamite. Coming back to the action in this second semi final match between Meredith Ingebretson and Shauna Verstigen. Shauna Verstigen currently up two falls to zero, but Jake, they're down to that 12 inch log. And you mentioned that Shauna might have wanted to try to finish it off on the larger log. A m lot more speed here. Yep, and that suits Meredith very well. She's incredibly fast. She's got super quick feet. This log is really where she's at home. Oh, and yet, Shauna Verstigan taking three straight, beating the current world champion. Incredible match there for Shauna Verstigan, just coming back from having a child last year. First match back into competition. She'll be very happy. Going on to the final. Here she is. Watch, watch Meredith's heels here. She tries to pull it, but she just goes too far. You can't play that much on the edge, and Shauna takes advantage. Like I said, she's won four world titles. She knows what to do when you give her an opportunity. Lots more great action coming up very shortly from Lake Sedgwick in Centennial Park.